Hello guys, welcome to part two of the ice cream tutorial and today we'll be working on texturing. So before I get started, I would like you guys to turn on Node Wrangler. So you go to edit, preferences, add-ons and type in node and turn it on because we will need it in the shading editor, okay? So I know some people like to go to the shading tab right here, but I like to have everything in one screen. You know, it works for me. So right here, you see the plus and then you just drag it out. Zoom in with this. I'm gonna turn this on for now. And then make sure I'm in viewport shading. Let me tweak it. Computers. Loading. Oh boy. Okay, cool. Check on this arrow. Make sure scene world is unchecked. Okay. I'm gonna turn this off. This is selected so it's good because that's what I want to texture it's for now. Okay, so you go right here, editor type, and change it to shader editor. So I don't want this here, so I'm gonna press on N. Okay, let me make this smaller. Go here. So this is the render engine. I am going to change it to cycles because cycles is needed for the specific nodes that I'm gonna use because it won't show up in Eevee, that's why. Okay, so first things first. As you can tell that we didn't have any extra geometry to create the nuts. The nuts and the bitten ice cream itself, it's all in one. We just sculpted the nuts on top of it. So how are we gonna tell Blender to, you know, how are we gonna tell Blender which, you know, color will go to which? For example, we have to create a mask, a color mask, I would call it that. You know, tell Blender that, okay, this color will go with the nuts and this other color will go with the entire body. So first things first, let's press on new. Okay, leave this as is. Okay, bring this, whoops, everything selected. Bring this down like that. Okay. And then we're going to use the geometry, spacebar, geo, geometry right on top of here. So this is going to be like the mask, like the factor, two colors will go into the tell it, okay, this color will go for the nuts and this color will go for the entire body. So this is the mask, if you want to call it, that we're making right now. And then color ramp, color ramp right here. And then we're going to use pointiness into the factor, linear, change it to ease, and then bring the colors close. Okay. And then click on the principal BSDF, shift D, shortcut to duplicate, bring it down. So you're wondering what is this? So this first node will be the color of the entire ice cream base, just the base itself. And then the one under it, under it will be the color of the nuts, these little areas right there. And this is the fact that it's going to go in the mix shader, which we need to combine the two colors together to create a hole. So yes, spacebar, mix shader right here. And then we'll take this shader, switch it with the surface. And then this top one, sorry, will go in here. And then this one will go here. You don't see any color because they're both white, so don't worry. 0 0.5, that's fine. And then we have the factor. We might probably have to mess around with the color ramp to adjust the brightness. So color into factor. Okay, we don't have any color yet, that's why. So let's go to this first one. Base color, we're looking for like a brown color. Does that make sense? Let's see. 
Mm. Mm, this will be like a light. Like a light double color. So it seems like something is acting up here. Zoom in. Let's go to the color ramp and see what's up. Hmm. I think the colors are flipped. Looks that way. We need to make this more brown. Jeez, I should have saved the hex color. I'm sure you see the white parts. That's the other color down here. I guess you basically just mess around with it. We know ice cream is not orange. Let me, maybe I need to make it darker. You could definitely find a hex color. Hmm. Okay, that works. As you can see, there's like little white streaks in the ice cream. Right here. That's the second color. Let's see if we could make it a little bit brighter. And maybe a darker little bit. There we go. Okay. I hope you guys get it. So before I go on, I don't want to confuse you guys. This is the mask which goes in the factor. Color one, the entire color. Color two, the nuts color. The mix shader combines these two colors together and uses this as a factor to tell which color will go to what basically, okay? Okay, now you're wondering, how do we add more details? So we go here, we wanna do something with the roughness. So we go spacebar, musgrave, musgrave texture, and then of course, color ramp. And then color will go into roughness and height into the color ramp. Factor. Okay, and we mess around with this. Click on this. Lord. So basically makes it not too shiny. We don't want it too shiny. Zoom in. Okay, let's mess with the scale. You see how the scale changes. Bring up the detail. So here, I'm just trying to give an, an, an idea. I can't even speak. 
I just want to show you how it can be done. So whatever skill you want detail that fits best, or if you have a reference, you could use that and follow along with it. So it could help you basically. Okay. Okay. And then remember when I said that we need the Node Wrangler on? So make sure the texture, which is the Musgrave texture is selected and then Control T on your keyboard. And what, that, what does that do? It brings out the texture coordinate and the mapping. So with these two, you can mess around with the rotation of the Musgrave on each axis, basically. And you could scale it, make it thinner, fatter. It's up to you, really. Or say, for example, you want to match it up with the UV. I have not unwrapped the UV of the base, so I'm just leave it at generated. Or you could change it to object works as well. Simple. Simple, just like that. Okay. And then we want to add like little bumps, you know, to give it some nice feel. So, you know, my favorite texture node is the noise texture. There's no need for you to, you know, press on control T. You can still use this mapping and texture for the noise as well. So just take the vector and then put it into the vector. Okay. As you can see, the purple goes into purple, you know, they're matching up, makes sense. So I guess the best advice for nodes is that for the most part, the colors have to match. If you wanna put the vector into something else that's not purple, it won't work. Okay, so now a bump, spacebar bump, my other favorite node. Connect it to the normal, connect the factor to the height. Whoa, what is that? That is too much. That is too much. Scale it up. Okay, and then I am going to reduce the strength. And bring it down, make it smaller like that just realistic as possible and I guess this is where I would add a color ramp to adjust where the dots will appear or not so color ramp over here I'm gonna click on it so to view this I pressed on shift control that's what I'm pressing on here, shift control, shift control. And then say you wanna go back to the regular color, you click on this, shift control, there. But I wanna view how the noise looks on this noise texture, so shift control. Okay. And then you just mess with it. Like that. And then you wanna view it. Shift control. Look at that. I guess the bigger the skill, the more details, basically. The more details. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back, so where was I? I was editing the little details. Messing with the strength. I want the bumps to be there, but I don't want it to be too known. But I still want it to look like something is there, if that makes sense. So I'm decreasing. Yeah, there's so much noise. Look at that. 
Look at that looking good. Okay, I don't see too much color of the nuts, so I'm gonna mess around with this. Oh, that's, oh. No wonder, that's weird. Well, I thought so. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm starting to see the details. You could add more uh, noise if you want one to be bigger than the other one, but I'm going to leave it as that so you guys can just have an idea of how things work. Okay? So, yeah, this is the detail. I don't even know why I moved it, but yeah. Let me organize this. Yeah, so color ramps are really helpful, honestly. And, you know, it's great. I know you're wondering why am I trying to tidy it up? Just so I can know where is where. I mean, they have much more tutorials on how to organize your notes, but, you know, this is what I do. This is a pretty, I wouldn't say simple, but, you know, for me, it's simple. However, if it's something much bigger and has a lot of details that I have to put in it, I might actually have to, you know, name them and label them. But yeah, this is not bad. This is good. This is good. Okay. Okay, we're going to go here. Material properties. Change it to outer. Okay. And now, check this, this part. The stick. So I am not going to go over adding a picture. I'm just going to go over the details of adding the noise, the lines, and the two colors. I might have actually have to create another video on how to, you know, create a mask, black and white image, and to add it onto the onto another item or project. But I just want to give you guys the idea of how to go about, you know, making a texture. Okay, let's talk in. Okay, so new. Okay. So again, noise. And then click on noise, control T, noise, control T, adds mapping and texture coordinate. And then object to vector in the mapping. Okay. And then space color ramp. Color into color. Factor into factor. And then I'm gonna choose one dark color and one bright color. Because you know the sticks, how like they have like darker lines going on top of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me zoom in. So this will be a darker color. And then this will be light. Like that. And let me click on this. Shift control. Why is it saying color? Hmm. Did I accidentally put the color? Thought that was weird. Okay, so y axis. Oh, 
called wrong one. Why am I tweaking? X axis, Lord have mercy. Okay, as you can see the lines. Let's actually make it smaller. Detail 2.8 works. And then we're going to add a Voronoi. Just to mix it up a bit. Voronoi. Right there. Uh, right there. Distance to edge. Uh -oh. There we go. And so you put the distance into the scale, not the vector. Remember the color. And just get it to whichever one you like. Hmm, okay. Go back to this. It looks a bit light. So I'm going to make it darker. I hope you see it. And then drag it to adjust it. I feel like I wanted to talk less to actually show you. But um just in case you got confused, I added the noise texture and then control T to add the mapping and texture coordinate object to vector. And then I just change up the details, 2.8. And then in order to view it in you know, the black and gray, shift control so you can see what you're dealing with before you go back into the color. Like that. And then I added the Veroin, the Veroinoid because they added a little bit of distortion just to make it look different and look like, you know, not just only in straight lines, but maybe some other lines that are possibly seen on the stick. Anyways, like I said, you could always use references to help you out. I just want to give you guys, you know, ideas on how to go about making certain things. And I hope everything is making sense. Even if you don't 100% understand it, you should definitely mess around and see what you get. Always experiment. Okay, I feel like I need to make this more, I don't know, more orange. This one too. Yeah, so it looks more like wood. And so far working good. And then this part, this is simple as well. New. You know, think about the ice cream color, it's like yellowish. Like that. And then you could add a you could also add a musk gray to the roughness. Cut 
pull around. Color into the roughness, height into the factor. And then of course, click on the Musgrave texture, Control T. Object to vector. Click on this. Scale it. Let's see how it looks. It's pretty slow. Add some shininess to it. And then now the bump. So noise. And then bump. And then of course color ramp. Right here. Bump into normal. Color into height, and then the factor into the factor. Okay, and then of course click on the noise texture, control T. This helps a rotation on each axis if you want. There's so much noise, but I bet you could see it. I'm gonna scale this. Up. and then I want to rotate a bit there we go and of course object to vector that's more like it It's so noisy, I'm so sorry guys. But once you try, you see it on your computer, you should be good, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so before we end, I would like to do a quick overview. So you're looking at this note set, you're like, oh my gosh, what is this? I'm so confused. Remember the mask, which will be a factor. And then we have the colors for the base and then one for the nuts. We have a mix shader. So we join these two together and to have the factor to tell that this color will be this and that this color will be the nuts area. And then we connect that to the surface material output. And then, of course, we want to add more details to the body. So we add a musgrave in the roughness to add some shine and some, no shine, I guess, no shine. Color ramp to, like, adjust it. And then, of course, you know, messing around with the scale. And then noise texture, color ramp to adjust it, adjust the noise texture. And then bump, of course, to, you know, poke those bumps out. Or if you want to invert it, it'll go inwards, depending on what you're working on. But working on the ice cream, so we want it just as is. Now going to the normal. And then for the nuts, you could do more with this, too. Say, for example, you want it really detailed. You want, like, lines on the nuts. Like, you have, you're working on a specific project. You want lines on the nuts. You can literally add the noise texture, the bump, the color ramp to add those details. And I think for that, you could use the wave, the wave, um, the wave texture. Just experiment with it, okay? So I hope you guys learned something from this. And if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram at Phil Mesh. And if you like the references again, or you like the model that I created myself just to see how I set up the nodes of, or if there's anything else you want to see, then be my guest. And hope you guys have a lovely day and take care.